Looks like I'm back out here at the park, walking around this trail, a GoPro and a microphone. Because I said, I said I was gonna do a video every week. You folks that do this all the time, this has to be your job. Like I, it's too much work. Anyway, got two thoughts this week. First, the running. Running went really good. I, I was kind of dreading the length of the intervals. It was going up to 15 minute jog, one minute walk. And I tell you, I didn't know, I didn't know how I was gonna handle that. It actually turned out to be really well. I think I was able to slow down a little bit, like jog, not place too much pressure on myself. Run went great. I mean, one minute rest, that wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't ideal. Like I, I need a nap in between 15 minutes. When I look at the whole week, I think it went really good, but get all that crap out of the way. I want to put the numbers up on the screen just for myself so that I can go back and just be able to reflect on it. But one thing hit me this week, I think the algorithm on Facebook actually got it right for once. I was scrolling and suggested this group and it was uh, slow runners. And I thought, man, Facebook, you <laughs> I don't know what data I've been putting in here, but you really know me now. And I looked at it and I thought, I don't want, you know, this is kind of crap. I don't want to join this thing, but I did. I started checking it out and I'm really glad that I did. Some really motivational things that I've been reading on there. And a couple of things stood out was that forward is a pace. It really hit home with me because I beat myself up over not improving or not getting faster or whatever it is. Even though I've not sat down and said, here's a bunch of goals that I want to accomplish with this running, other than just doing it, I still beat myself up over it. And I, that's not fair. Getting out and doing this, being out here today, that's forward progress, that's a pace. There's another slogan, I guess you should say, that I really loved and it was finish lines over finish times. And that one with this group, it really, that really made a big difference to me reading that because I've seen a lot of people in this group that just out there doing this thing, they're out there signing up for races and training and you know, everybody's in this group and we're all like, oh, you know, we're so slow, but we're out there doing it. And I'm thinking we're slow compared to what? There's always gonna be somebody faster. There's always gonna be somebody stronger or better or whatever at, at whatever you're doing. I start thinking about like, why I don't wanna put something out there to a lot of my friends. Cause like when I, I made a post and I realized that all of my friends could see it, I didn't like that. So I deleted it. So I've just been kind of lurking in the background, but it hit me. You know what? You're never gonna be criticized by somebody who's doing more than you. You know, I, I came out here to the park the other day and I watched this guy run and I mean, and I'm not making fun of this dude. He just, it was a shuffle and he was not moving fast. But you know what never crossed my mind was, man, this guy, what is he says out here wasting his time? Like, why is this guy so slow? None of that crossed my mind. I, I wanted to go, if I wasn't in my car, I would have gone and give this dude a high five. I was like, man, you are out here crushing it. Could be doing a million other things with his life. He was at the park running, doing it. Who cares how fast he was going? I see all these people sign up for these, these events, these half marathons and marathons, and some of them beat themselves up because they weren't fast, but you know, you did it. I saw this one post, this dude said he was, ran a marathon and he finished, I don't know if it was in his age group or whatever, 26 out of 27, but he was at the finish line and he had a medal. I'll tell you what hit me was, Here's somebody who didn't finish 26 out of 27. I see that guy and is like, man, this dude stuck to the training, signed up for an event and did it. And stood there at the finish line with a medal and did something that a very small percentage of the population will ever do. And, and that's something to be celebrated. So, you know, it's like 24, 20 something people subscribe to this thing. So, but if you stumble across this and you're like me, and you're like, man, this running is hard and I suck at it. I'm not gonna sign up for these things. Like I'd say do it. We gotta sign up for these things and do these things. And that's kind of this journey that I've been on. I'd, I'd much rather 
get to the point where I'm physically incapable of trying this kind of thing and look back and be like, you know what? I, I tried it and I did, I did something. I went out and accomplished something rather than just sit at home and be behind a keyboard judging everybody because I thought they should be able to progress quicker or go faster. Who really cares? Reminds me of so much of when I was lifting weights. I wasn't doing anything spectacular. I was just competing in really just local meets. My goal was to hit a total good enough to qualify me for Masters Nationals. And I think by the time it was said and done, my last meet, I think I was had a total at that time that would have that I could have gone to Worlds if I wanted to. But during the whole time of training, uh, I've had advice and input from a lot of people, and most of them mean well. I don't, I don't think any of them really meant any harm, but I zeroed most of that stuff out. Got to the point where I was primarily listening to my coach. I got to the point where at a meet, all I could hear was Madison's voice because that was the voice that mattered. That was the voice that was not just there on meet day. That was the voice that was there on training day, good and bad. That was the voice that I could rely on. If you're out there running and you feel like maybe you're going too slow or maybe you even just say, you know what, I'm gonna just go try and run a mile and you can't even do that. And you think people are judging you or maybe you sign up for an event and you cross the finish line and you're worried that Somebody's gonna think, well, I'm going too slow. I want you to stop and look around and think about all those voices. Were they running that race with you? Were they there training with you? Were they there getting up early? Were they there doing any of these other things? And if the answer is no, then who cares what they think? I'm not gonna accept criticism from anybody that I would not go to for advice. It's kind of stuck with me. And I'm really glad that I found this Facebook group because I found nothing but positive vibes and motivation from everybody's uh, journey in there. It's really given me even more motivation to keep up this running venture that I've somehow found myself on. Next week, looks like the running is gonna bump up to 17 minute jog, one minute run. We'll see how, see if my body holds up. See if I need to triple up the goo packs. Next video, I might be out here drowning in gel pack. We'll see how it goes. Or my body may collapse. I think when my body finally does give up, you know what I think it's gonna be? It's gonna be like Yoda. <laughs> I'm just gonna disappear. There's just gonna be a pair of busted up running shoes a headband and some earbuds i hope somebody can at least come get some use out of my garment anyway till next week